Hello everybody, good day to you. Welcome back. This is a 2016 Jeep Wrangler Sahara. I think it's a, I think it's the Unlimited or the Limited. It's one of those titted Which one? Unlimited. This is an Unlimited Sahara Jeep. Uh, anyway, this particular Jeep uh, just got done with a boatload of engine work service to it. We replaced the engine oil cooler manifold down in the engine valley, resealed both the valve covers, did some PCV work, uh, numerous uh, knick-knacky items to get this thing back together and uh, no longer leaking oil. But that's not what this video is about. We're doing a, a follow-up on the climate control. My, uh, my customer had stated that on occasion, when you turn the air on, you've got hot air on one side and cold air on the other side, which is kind of odd because this is single zone climate control. There should be only one actuator to determine the uh, the heat and or cold uh, coming out of this unit. So I've got her running. I threw the thermal meter in there. And we zoom in some and we're making, we're down to 60 right now. Uh, we were making 78 degree air earlier, about a half an hour ago. And I have yet to been able to figure out and see or witness the, uh, incorrect temperature between the two vents so i had hot and i had cold on one side that's not supposed to do that so i preliminarily was looking around i don't believe that the ac system uh, has a charge level issue but i also can't confirm that because this is the one two three four yf refrigerant system and i only have the 134a machine normally what i would want to do is just go ahead and recover the system weigh the refrigerant and just rule out a low charge because a low charge condition can give you a discrepancy uh, amongst temperatures at your vents employing some critical thinking i took a look down below at the drain and we can see that the ac drain is in fact draining and condensing water so that tells me that the evaporator is getting cold temps I feel cold temps going out, coming out of the vents right now. So right now the system is working. Now, since I really can't do any testing on it because I don't have the machine and we don't want to do the conversion on this just so I can use the machine to rule out a possibility, I'm going to go ahead and pull out of my memory banks a used car that I PDI'd once when I was at the dealership that had a similar condition. Uh, what I had found out was that behind the glove box, there is the, uh, the recirculation door. That's the one that will either recirculate air from inside of the cabin or the door will open up and it'll pull in fresh air from the engine compartment and then send that into the cabin. Uh, I had one of these once where that door, it was like a half moon shaped kind of door situation. That thing had broken off from its actuator and was sitting like halfway. And when you drive around, the thing would move around and it would either open or close or sit somewhere in, in the middle. And when it did that, it would give us um, an inconsistent uh, temperature out of the vents. So what I would like to do real quick to rule that out is we're gonna go and check, and I'm gonna show you guys how to check to see if that mode door inside of your dash behind the passenger side glove box is uh, responsible for this intermittent cooling system condition. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come in here and set up a light so we can see what we're trying to see. We're gonna pop this glove box open real quick like, Get all the goodies out of the way so you guys can't see where my guy lives. And oh, pretty clean in here. And we're gonna pop this glove box door off, remove it, screwdriver, and take a look at that, uh, that temperature or mode control door. Vent control door, whatever, which one, whatever one. The recirc, recirculation, that one, that, that little symbol right there, that's the one. Really? Well, <laughs> um, yeah, so the door's back there. Okay, I, I don't know what to do here. We have some, some napkins. Let me get this stuff out of the way. We have a lot of napkins, holy smokes. There's some. There's some. There's some. There's some. There's some more. Dang. Okay, there we go. So I got some obstructions out of the way. We can see the vent right here. This is the vent that I speak of. And I guess while we're here, I wanna see if this vent also has a, uh, 
a filter system. Hang on, there's another one. I believe you can get to uh, pop this vent off of here and there are filters back behind it. Okay, so what I'll do, now that that's out of the way and, uh, and all that's out of the way, I'm gonna reach over and hit the button and we should see that vent closing, yeah, yep. So now this is uh, set up to bring in air from the outside. We hit the button again, set up to bring in air from the inside. And I thought there were filters in there, but I, I guess I was mistaken, perhaps not on this model. So anyway, while this thing was in recirculation mode with that door in the closed position, meaning it's pulling in air from inside of the cabin, it was restricted with all of these uh, these paper towels and napkins and whatnot. So, I, well, this video is gonna be shorter than I thought it was because I thought that uh, I thought we had a broken door, or I at least wanted to check. But anyway, so now we know that the door is functioning as designed. That actuator that runs the door is also working, so I don't think we have a problem there. Let me hit the other knob. While we're here, we'll just check this actuator. I think that's temperature control. We swing the... No, that's not temp. That must be mode. Right now we're on... Uh, all the way left on face fence. Let's switch the mode. Yeah, there we go. Mode works. Switch it back. See that? Okay, that actuator is working. This is good. I think I may have just fixed the problem. I do believe that, 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 yeah, that stuff doesn't go there. So we're just gonna go with the obvious, fix the thing that's staring at us in the face, and uh, I guess reevaluate later on. So what I'll do is I'll put this thing back and crank up the fan motor. There we go. Fire the fan up, recirculation. The thermostat, thermal meter is still in the, in the dash. So we're gonna see what kind of temps we get once I clean all this rigmarole uh, out of the vehicle here. And that's a lot of rigmarole. <laughs> Dang! Uh, I guess you'll never need a paper towel. There we go. Here, I'll put y'all's goodies back where I found them. Paperwork and light bulbs and all that good stuff. There's probably a toolkit in there, screwdriver. No paper towels for you. These are mine now. Okay, let's close the doors, close the windows, and I'm gonna check back in on this thing in, uh, in about five minutes to see how the temperature is stabilized. I'm actually gonna crack one window so I can't get locked out. There we go. All right, five minutes later, we return to the cabin, and our center vent temp is not focusing. 50, where are you at, 52, 55? Yeah, it came down quite a bit. That discrepancy uh, between the two sides is no longer present. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and call this a confirmed kill. The problem was staring at us in the face. Jeep, I told you, these are mine now. The problem was staring at us in the face. Give me that. So I believe this one is good to go. I'm gonna give it back to the owner and uh, let them evaluate whether we need to uh, perform further diagnostics on the climate control system on this 2016 Jeep or not. So guys, having said all that, and gals, I have nothing more to offer you in this particular video other than a thank you for watching this video. As always, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to let me know about that in the comment section down below. Do not forget to tap that like button and the subscribe button if you are new here. That way you do not miss out on any future videos. So again, and as always, thank you guys for watching. And most importantly, have yourselves a great day. See you guys later in a video, in a Jeep, in a climate control, in a day, in a transmission. Oh, hey, you know, real quick afterthought. So I, I've been saying end of transmission, like as a close outline, you know, and people are thinking that I'm meaning the actual gearbox transmission in the car. Uh, what I'm referring to is the electronical broadcast transmission uh, of this particular video. I'm transmitting this video. So when the video ends, I'm ending the transmission that I am in fact transmitting. Words. Re-ending of transmission. <laughs>